today we're going to finish below the deck. And I purchased a picnic table, wooden picnic table. I got it on sale. It was uh, not scratching them, but they just didn't put it together at Lowe's and they wanted to get rid of it. So they discounted a $150 picnic table to $40. Uh, so I went and picked that up uh, last week. Uh, I've been busy at work. I haven't been able to get up here a lot. Um, but we'll finish under the deck, put that picnic table together. And I've got a couple of hanging uh, TP chairs. They're pretty cool. They're like little TPs that you sit in and they got lights and you can zip them up or open them up. Um, to hang. We're going to hang them from the bottom, well, the bottom of the deck. So they'll hang underneath the deck. Uh, and then, you know, eventually I'll get all of this stuff in here situated and... Uh, we will uh, we'll be nearly ready to clamp. Um, what's left is the gutters on the roof to feed the rain catch barrel, which will gravity feed down to the shower house. So you can take a clean shower, um, hot shower, and then the outdoor kitchen. And, and that's it, really. I got to put in some solar uh, cells to charge the EcoFlow battery so you'll have some power out here. Um, but yeah, basically that's, that's all that's left. It's not, not a whole lot. Just, I've had to have time to get out here and, uh, I'm taking this week off. So I should be able to, uh, get everything finished. We'll see. I needed some logs to outline the gravel over there underneath that part of the deck. So what I did was I had a tree that was down back here. Got the uh, good old chainsaw out and went to town on it. So now you can see, let me turn this around. So now you can see that I've got all of this bordered out for the gravel so the gravel will go underneath all of the the deck the stairs and everything uh next i have to take this cardboard and put here and then i gotta take the wheelbarrow which is all the way over there and load it up a shovel at a time and bring it over here um i think that'll probably take me i don't know maybe an hour hour and a half maybe if I don't take any breaks but right now I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna get some water because it is hot and humid out here and I am sweaty <laughs> the deck there and under the balcony there and all under here here let me turn it around and let me zoom out so you can see see all gravel all under here uh, now you know you don't really have to worry about stepping on little critters that you can't see because um, you have the gravel and you'll see if there's a critter there now out here it's much harder to see the critters and there's some nope ropes that are like the same color as that timber rattlers and copperheads now i have not seen any up here uh that does not mean that they are not up here and i did put out some snake away along the paths hopefully to keep them away but just be careful and watch where you put your feet because this is this is their area it's not it's not ours this is their house we just visited anyways let's see uh see what this picnic table looks like you know i 
last said I got this picnic table on discount. $149 picnic table. I got for $40 because they hadn't put it together yet and it was just sitting out back in the yard. Yeah, I found out I found out why. I found out why they hadn't put it together yet. Let me, let me. So the legs, there's two legs, right? The legs, they, they go together like that. Right? Two holes there, two holes there, two holes in that in that support board, two holes in there, the lag bolts go through and the washers and the hex knocks to go on top. Well, one of these is not like the other. All good though, I'm just gonna flip this board over on top of that one, use that as a uh, template and drill, drill the holes through. And we'll be good to go. So today, I actually did get done what I wanted to get done. Let me show you here. So, I got the picnic table together, and I got these tent swings up, which um, they, uh, they hold up 220 pounds, so they hold me, or two really light adults, or mom and a kid, or several kids. Uh, the doors close, there's a air mattress in there you can blow up, and then there's lights on the inside, so I've got two of these hanging up. Um, Got the picnic table done, so whenever you make the food in the kitchen that I still need to finish, you can eat it right here. And you know, your, your view will be, if you're sitting here, will be out out through the trees there. The reservoir is down that way. Um, or if you're sitting on this side, you'll see the road, but that's okay. Um, got all of this gravel all the way around, all the way down and around and then I put up these hammock chairs here too so um, there's two of them this one I put up in the very center and I don't like it it's too close to that and like your your calves end up on it not your feet so I scooted this one back a little bit more and your feet end up right there on that so I'm gonna I'm gonna change this one um, but you know this is a cool little space under here you can just come hang out read a book Listen to the birds chirp, whatever you want, you know, and then here you can, if you wanted to, you could sleep in that if you don't mind curling up in the fetal position or sleeping straight up and down like you're sitting. But it's still cool to hang out in. There's lights in there. Turn on at night. And I think, I think, I think what I might do, I don't know if this will be now or in the future is to put a retractable screen right here and a video projector right there. Um, it would have to be Wi-Fi only, connect to your phone. You gotta run on your own phone service. You do get 5G cell phone service up here or 4G. Just depends on which way the wind blows. Uh, but yeah, you can watch a movie right there. How cool would that be? You can sit at the picnic table right here or on that side, have some cold beers, watch a movie. The kids can be in these, these, this tent or that tent, they can watch a movie. You could even turn those things around and watch the movie from the backside, depending on how transparent the screen is. But yeah, anyways, that's what I got done today. And it was everything that I wanted to get done. Woo! Uh, but like I said, I I'm taking this week off. So today's Monday. I'll be up here nearly every day finishing that outdoor kitchen. Finishing that shower house up. I got to build the bed frame up there in the tent, finish putting together some furniture. Uh, but then there's still a couple more things I got to buy. And since I'm self-financed, the bank's not paying for this. It's coming out my pocket. Those couple things are going to have to wait till next payday. Um, but after that, it's just a gutter up on the roof and the water catch barrel, a uh, little deck for it to sit on and then plumbing it over to the shower house. And that's it. After that, it's stringing up some lights. I got a bunch of some lights, some fairy lights, uh, and a couple other things. Make it cool, there's an outdoor fan. It's gonna be up there on the deck. But yeah, we're getting really close. Hopefully, fingers crossed, both ways, uh, we'll be able to open this place up in July, because it's June, 12th right now we'll see anyways 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell.